This is NBC 26 Sports. Super Bowl 53 kicks off in just a couple of minutes, which means millions of Americans are set to bet over $6 billion on the big game. That's a lot of money. It's not just picking a winner either. The amount of prop bets that are now available to throw your money at is actually laughable. So Chris and I decided we'd give you some last minute advice to make, make an extra buck or at least laugh at some of these crazy bets. That's right. So here we go. Our favorite prop bets of 2019, starting with the national anthem. Will any scoring drive take less time to complete than it takes Gladys Knight to sing the entire anthem? I'm going to go with yes. In each of the last six Super Bowls, it's taken at least a minute and 45 seconds to sing the anthem, but it rarely takes much longer than two minutes. So there's your time frame. Well, the Pats have ran a scoring drive in under two minutes the last three games, including both playoff contests. No reason to think they can't do it against the Rams. Kelly, what say you? I agree. I think this one will be a high scoring affair and who better to fire on all cylinders than the high powered Rams against the Saints in the NFC Championship game. LA didn't have a drive under two minutes, but this whole season they've compiled 24 scoring drives under two minutes in duration. So whether it's the Pats or the Rams, I think someone can beat that bet. Now for a fun one. What color will Adam Levine's shoes be for the <laughs> halftime performance? There's a long list of options here. Ten colors of the predominant possible color of his shoes. White leading the pack six to five. Black three to one. Brown seven to two. To one. Then we get into the real color wheel with blue, red, orange, yellow, green, purple, and lastly pink 25 to 1 in that order. A quick Google search reveals Levine's penchant for black and navy shoes, so it's tough, but I have to go with black. I wish the bet was on what type of shoe though, because Chris, I bet on Jordan's. Well, I hope Levine wears pink just so all the bold people who put money on that can get a 25 to 1 payout, but I agree, got to keep it simple and boring. I'm going to go black shoes. It seems like a good choice. Find a lot of them in the white kicks, right? So you said black. Oh, I'll say white. Yeah, you say black, I say white. It's what the cool kids are doing. <laughs> white shoes. All right, I love this next one. Over under two and a half times that Tony Romo says, here we go in the broadcast <laughs> booth. The Wisconsin native has kind of organically coined that as his catchphrase. I'll say over because he tends to say it in bunches. So if he gets excited just once, that's going to be a, here we go, here we go. That's two off the bat. I just love that people are actually betting on this. I mean, who's the guy that actually takes the under on this one? Romo is definitely going to say it more than that. It's the Super Bowl. Go big or go home on that one. Speaking of big, as we've been hearing about all week, there's a big gap in ages between Bill Belichick and Sean McVay, and there's even a bet on whose age will be closer to the total points scored this Super Bowl Sunday. Belichick at 66 years old is 1-4, to four, and McVay at 33 is 5-2. to two. And I've got to take Belichick on this one. Call me crazy, but my final score prediction for this game totals more than 66 points. Well, quick check on math. 49 and a half is the over under. That's the midway point between their age. So under that total means McVay wins. Over that means Belichick wins. So only seven of the Pats games have hit that 49 and a half this year, but 13 of the Rams games have gone over. I like the Pats defense coming alive late in the season, enough to hold the score somewhere in the low 40s. I'm going to take McVay with the risk of a lower payout. All right, so to recap, yes, Kelly and I both think a drive will last shorter than it takes Gladys Knight to sing the anthem. Kelly's going with black shoes for Matt Levine. I say white, both, both safe low picks. And no way we don't hit the over on Tony Romo saying, here we go. Got to hammer that two and a half. And finally, will the final score be closer to Bill Belichick or Sean McVay's age? We split. I say McVay and Kelly says Belichick. So Kelly, last but not least, what do you have in the game? I got the Rams, 41-38. I think it's going to be high scoring, like I said. You can't bet against the Pats. You it can't, just doesn't make but sense. But I kind of want to. So. I'm going Pats. I'll say 31-27. Enjoy the game, everybody.